In what is being touted as a first in the world, the Russian military seems to have developed and used a robot named Turtle to deliver ammunition to troops in the combat zone. Konstantin Bagdasarov, the CEO of the Russia-based Argo robot developer company, told Russian state media agency RIA Novosti that the turtle was used in the Luhansk People's Republic, which has been embroiled in warfighting since the invasion began in 2022. The CEO told reporters, the prototype of the turtle robot is now working in the Luhansk People's Republic on the line of contact in one of the Russian group of troops units. Its main tasks are the delivery of ammunition and food. In particular, the robot delivers mines for mortar crews. The military is satisfied with the development. According to Bagdasarov, the robot works at the front and can handle 500 kilograms of load up to 5 kilometers away. Since the turtle robot is electric, according to Bagdasarov, it doesn't make noise or glow in the heat spectrum. Its very modest stature, i.e., the body height of approximately 1 meter, makes it challenging to identify visually. The manufacturer's CEO also clarified that the robot was given the working moniker, Turtle, because of its limited speed, as the complex was designed to support foot soldiers. The gadget can travel up to 10 km per hour at its fastest. Bagdasarov also noted that the robot can follow the radio tag that the group of soldiers carries. The company is developing updated turtle robots designed with combat operations in mind. They have electronic maps of the area, lighters for ground scanning, and satellite communication systems. The new vehicles will be larger and have distinct chassis, wheels, and tracks. The announcement comes days after a Kremlin-affiliated social media produced footage purporting to show a Russian unmanned ground vehicle, or UGV, carrying supplies to frontline troops while avoiding hits by Ukrainian mini-drones and evacuating a wounded soldier. Previous reports had indicated that due to a shortage of actual troops, Russia and Ukraine were turning towards crude ground robots to fill in the shoes of soldiers in combat. Eurasian Times, however, could not establish the authenticity of these claims. However, after the Kremlin video went viral, Sam Bennett, research analyst at the US-based Center for Naval Analyzes think tank explained that since armed aerial drones and artillery were endangering military movements on the front lines in Ukraine, logistical, supply, and evacuation duties ran the risk of being found and targeted. This was essentially why the two sides deployed these DIY platforms. Russia had previously fielded a combat robot named Marker, which can automatically recognize and attack pre-designated targets. At one point, Russian officials warned that Marker would be head on taking the supplied Abrams and Leopard 2 tanks. Not just that, 
It has been reported that Russia is testing robots on the battlefield in Ukraine, explicitly deploying the Zubilo robot into the conflict zone. It is a 13.3-ton assault ground vehicle with the capacity to carry a payload of up to 2.7 tons. It is intended to serve as an autonomous transport system. Zubilo is resilient to explosive device shrapnel and artillery pieces and performs several additional functions, such as ammo distribution, freight transportation, casualty evacuation, and even supplying power for radios and quadcopters. The war in Ukraine has become a testing ground for novel technology, with autonomous systems gaining widespread prominence. Against this background, the role of artificial intelligence, AI, and autonomous systems in the war in Ukraine is attracting global attention. On the other hand, Rostec CEO Sergei Chemizov, based on reports from Russian media, has disclosed that Russia is gearing up to conduct a trial run for a combat robot in Ukraine. The device in question is a BMP-3 infantry fighting machine, upgraded with a section that allows remote maneuverability. The technology enabling remote control is named the Sinitsa module, a product of High Precision Systems, an offshoot of Rostec. Web accessible attributes of the Sinitsa module can convert a manned BMP-3 to an entirely robotized vehicle. Interestingly, the module can be operated with a dedicated tablet-like control station. Rostec had previously projected the top speed of the robotic vehicle to be 70 km per hour, and its 700-liter fuel tank could cover 600 km before it would need refueling. The actual specifications are yet to be confirmed, 